Hi, Mary Ann. Um, I'm making this video on how to upload a blog post. It's really better for the website to not have a plugin to do this, only because it will affect the speed and optimization of the site. And it's really not that hard to, to do. So if this looks beyond what you're comfortable with, let me know and I'll see about the plugin. But um, again, it's really best not to. So I'm going to resend you your login credentials as well but when you when I send you the link you're gonna input your information here log in and this is what the WordPress end of your website looks like so from here let me just make sure you have a full view in order to input a blog post you're gonna go to post and this is well, it's all posts, but I don't think you have any, so. Um, these are just examples. So we're going to just move those to trash. And then we're going to create a new one. So in order to do that, again, over here, you can either add new or add new up here. So I'm going to give you, I'm just going to copy and paste. So I have this blog post that I just uploaded to another client site. And as you can see, it's in a Word document. So it's really interesting. It's on algae. But anyway, once it's in the Word document, I copy the title. Or you can type in the title here, whatever you want. And then this is where the body of your, I like to have visual here. So I copy the, the Word document. And then just come over here and paste it. And then you can make it look pretty from here. So I like to, um, one of the things is, as I set a featured image. So you go down here and you hit featured image. And then you can upload from your desktop. If you have an image. I think I deleted the algae one. Um, okay, so you would just choose an image here. I've got a nice one of Irma. <laughs> Just pretend this is algae so I can show you. So once it's uploaded, I'm going to set featured image. I'll show you how that looks in a minute. Um, also, if you want, you can go, all of these pick, uh, words aren't picking up because they're technical, but um, adding images within the post itself they have a couple cool features so if you want um, to add a picture like right here you would just go here and then add media just gonna add a random picture just to show you and you can add it right there now if you want, if you click on the picture, you have these different options. So if I click on over here, you see how it makes that go around, which I think is kind of a cool picture or kind of a cool option. Um, and that's all you really need to do uh, to add a blog post. Now once you're done with everything, then you just hit publish. and wait for it to finish and once it's done once it's done you can go here and this is what your blog post is going to look like um, I'm going to have to add a blog page to your site so we currently don't have a blog set up um, So I just um, paused the recording so I can make sure I added the blog page up here. So now when you click on it, there is 
an actual slider up here so you can go through the different posts that you post um, and they'll also see the newest post down here and be able to click on it um, and this is it set up where you can have comments the other thing I wanted to show you within the blog post go back to post we're gonna edit this one is you have these categories here so let's say you want to make a category on employment or um, life coaching or whatever you would just add uh, let's say let's use resume we're gonna add that and then you can put whatever categories check or uncheck and it will show up again on that post and then always hit update when you're done now if you want to do a new blog post but you don't want to publish it you just want to play around and try it then back here you would just when you add a new post go to add new then instead of hitting publish when you're done with it you're gonna save as a draft and that way it won't actually be viewable to the public but you'll have it to come back to for later so anyway, I hope this helps. Um, let's schedule a time to talk within the next couple of days and see if this is okay with you to do it directly or um, we're going to have to discuss the plugin because it'll take getting it set up and testing and stuff like that. Um, so anyway, I will write it all in the email. Have a good night.